Hello everyone, this is your tutor AP and today we're going to be solving a problem from the May 2021 physics examinations. This is an SL paper 2 question and it's open-ended. So let's get started. Two players are playing table tennis. Player A hits the ball at a height of 0.24 meters above the edge of the table, measured from the top of the table to the bottom of the ball. The initial speed of the ball is 12 meters per second horizontally. Assume that air resistance is negligible. The ball bounces and then reaches a peak height of 0.18 meters above the table with a horizontal speed of 10.5 meters per second. The mass of the ball is 2.7 grams. So let's do question 1. Show that the time taken for the ball to reach the surface of the table is about, is about 0.2 seconds. Okay, this is a projectile motions question, so we have to refer to our SUVAT equations. And the equation that's most helpful here would be S is equal to UT plus half AT square. And the reason I say this is because we have all the necessary numbers or variables to use this equation and it's just more efficient to use it. So let's get started. We know that S, the displacement, is 0.24 meters. We also know that there is no initial velocity, vertical velocity in this case, because it's having horizontal velocity initially, not vertical velocity. So that will be zero times time, so stay zero, plus half the acceleration due to gravity, which is 10, or let's be specific, 9.8 to one, and then t square which is what we want to solve for so if we rearrange we get 0 0.48 divided by 9.81 the root of gives us t so t is about 0 0.22 seconds and that's our answer which is approximately equal to 0 0.2 seconds so that's our question one next Sketch on the graphs, the variation with time, the vertical component of velocity. Okay, how do we do this question? We know that there is no initial vertical velocity the moment it's launched. But as the motion proceeds, it gains vertical velocity and this is due to the gravity, due acceleration due to gravity, which is just the change in velocity. So we know it must start at 0 comma 0 right there. And as the ball moves this way, it gains velocity, vertical velocity. But this gain in velocity will stay constant. It's 10 meters per second right there. So as the motion proceeds, the velocity gets faster and faster, but at a constant rate of 10 meters per second, that 10 meters per second is our gradient because the slope of a velocity curve is always acceleration. So if we want to have 10 meter per second slope, we just need to show like that. If we take rise over on, we can say 2 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 10. 1 divided by 0 0.1 is equal to 10. At all points, the slope is always 10 meters per second and so we can show the acceleration on this graph and this is the correct velocity curve question 3 c this net is stretched across the middle of the table the table has a length of 0.274 meter and the net has a height 15 centimeters show that the ball will go over the net again this is a projectile motions question so we will have to refer to our suvat equations to solve we have a table right there of 2.74 meter length. Where would the net be on a table tennis table? Of course, in the middle. So we know that the distance to the middle to the net would be 2.74 divided by 2, which is approximately 2.74 divided by 2, 1.37 meters. To solve this question, we need to use our SUVAT equations. I would say let's use S is equal to UT plus half 
at square. But there's a problem. We don't have t. We don't know the time at the time where the ball is exactly over the net. We need the time at this instance, but we don't know. But we can calculate it. How do we calculate it? We know the horizontal velocity and we know the that we know the displacement to the net. So we can use the equation d is equal to vt as horizontal velocity always is constant. We can use this equation and we can get the time is equal to d by v is equal to t or we get distance 1.37 divided by the velocity which is 12 and we get time is equal to zero point one one four seconds now using this we can plug it back into this equation and what do i mean we just need to find out what is the displacement of the ball at this instance and see if it's greater than the height of the net so s is equal to again zero times t so which is just zero plus half acceleration 10 t square 0 0.114 square so if we put this on our calculator we get the answer is equal to 5 times 0 0.065 meters so if we subtract from the height from the top which we know which was given in the question as 0.24 meters from the top 0.24 minus 0 0.065 0 0.05 sorry 0, 0. Point, sorry 0 0.065 we get the answer is equal to 0 0.175 meters 0 0.175 meters is greater than 0 0.15 if i'm not mistaken yep 0 0.15 meters and so ball passes over the net and finally calculate the force exerted or by the ball on the paddle. How do we solve this? Take a moment, think about it. Okay, how do we solve this? By referring to your data booklet, you will get an equation J impulse is equal to the force times an uh, change in time. But how do we use this equation? Let's use it. Let's solve this question using momentum. We know that J, which is impulse, is just equal to the momentum final minus the momentum initial. So let's substitute that into our equation to solve for the force. So we get momentum final minus the momentum initial over the change in time is equal to the force exerted momentum is mass times velocity so we can say the mass is common and the velocity we know it's an elastic collision is it yeah it's an elastic collision so the velocity stays same but the direction changes so first at one instance it's going 10.5 meters this direction and it, it bounces back with the same magnitude of velocity but in the opposite direction so we can say final which is 10.5 meter per second minus minus 10.5 because the direction changes but magnitude stays the same over the change in time which we get is 0 0.01 so substituting everything in mass is 0 0.027 Multiply it into 21 over 0 
gives us the force so putting this on our calculator we get 0 0.027 times 21 and the mass so sorry it's 2.7 divided by thousand Sorry, it's the wrong mass. It's not 0 0.027, it's 0 0.0027. So we get the final answer to be 5.67 newtons. And that's your final answer. I hope you learned something and all the best for your tests.